Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-1 and welcome you to Let's Play Clive Barker's The Undying. This is an awesome game. I was uh, trying to play this game during Halloween, but I couldn't get it recorded properly. So I postponed uh, doing this, but now that the last time I finished, uh, well, I finished with... Uh, uh, the other games, like uh, the AVP game that I did for Monday. I did, I wondered, what kind of game can I go for? There's a lot of games to choose from. And I decided, yeah, I tried to do this. So why not do this now? Because I can. So, let's see, I should have everything else, uh, I should have everything properly set. So all we have to do is go to new game and start it on medium. Because that's how I played it back in the day and everything. The thing is, what I wanted f to do this on Halloween or around Halloween is because this is a very, very scary game and it still scares the crap out of me. And I tried to do it with the webcam so you can see my reactions as I play the game, but that doesn't work because my webcam is a piece of shit. So. You're not going to see my reactions at all, but in at least not in my face, but you can hear me going all ape shit with my voice like I always do. So let's get in let's get into this nightmare and uh, see what we did, can dig up. A lot of Well, Clive Barker's nightmares, pretty much. Those who don't know who Clive Barker is, he's really fa he's a really famous horror novelist. And also, he has made a few films, like Hellraiser, for instance. A cult classic, that one. But enough about him, enough about me, let's dig into the game. And I love this uh, opening theme, I always loved it. Ah, uh, I'm tired of traveling. Or fighting superstition and its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism, little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me. But he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. You never know. Now this game is very interesting in many ways. Um, let me explain first. This came out, at, I think it was around 2000, at the same time as Diablo 2 came out, and that was a tremendous success, Diablo 2. And I played that a lot too. It's an awesome, that, I, it's a, one of the games that I probably spent most of my life playing, really. And this game, I think it came at the same time, and it wasn't a commercial success, which is too bad, because this game is awesome for a first-person shooter, because... Uh, 
of all the aesthetics that it has, all kinds of weird uh, occult things and uh, demons and monsters and stuff. And this was supposed to be a trilogy of games, but because of the because they were unsexable in their commercial breakthrough, it didn't happen. Which is a shame because I would have really loved to see how the how the story would have continued, but I'm getting ahead of myself really. So let's just go back into the game. And look at our journal, I think it's yeah, F3, thank you. And also the guy who is voice acting Patrick here, Patrick Galloway, he he always got flack. Um, he in many reviews and everything, he got a flag from uh, not sounding so Irish. I guess it's because everybody always expects to hear the stereotype going all the top of the morning to ya, all of that. But I think his Irish accent is okay. I never got bothered by it. It's not the best around, but he does sound Irish sometimes, so which is good. And also, I think one of the characters in the game is actually portrayed by Clive Barker himself. Yeah, he does voice acting in this game. At least that's what I remember. And also, if you want to read this, just go ahead and read it and then... Stuff. Just pause the video, read it if you want to. I'm not gonna read these out loud. There's too much text in here. And this is a first-person shooter, you just want to keep it going. You don't want to stop and read. And this is the stone that he got from the Tersanti leader, once he killed him by accident. Although I don't think he actually killed the leader. But he still got the stone. And that's his revolver, yeah, pretty much the main gun in the game that we're gonna be using for a long time. And most of the time, really. I use it a lot. And this is a, yeah, this is a, a very unique type of a first person game shooter because you don't really aim with your gun because you use dual attack with one hand you have your weapons your guns and on the other hand you will have your magic spells like we have for in this start we only have the revolver and the stone and the scry so as you can see here we have our stone and we can change to our revolver and yes Patrick is left-handed which is kind of unique. And with the right hand we use Scry. Now Scry is very unique of a spell because it lets you to look into the past events of uh, stuff and also see into the other world. And nice touch with the uh, lightning there. Lots of rats. There's a gardener, let's talk to the man. And also if the rectangle goes green that means you can shoot the character but he's a friendly so you're Jeremiah's old war buddy right yep, yep. indeed I died that's all he has to say I guess did you hear that have you heard somebody say look let's look around. look around that is the that's the stone Telling you to scry. You will be hearing that a lot in the game. That is uh, the stone just telling you to take a look because there's something here that you cannot see. Yeah, scry. It tells you. I've got a couple of stouts in the way. No, no thanks, no stouts today. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, these are the unseen events, and only with the scry spell can you take a look at them. I didn't even notice there were bats up on the uh, door. Forgot about that. Well, let's go inside. That's what we're here for. So where's Jeremiah? I'm Patrick Galloway, or a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. Yeah, only six the months. said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. Yeah, I can tell. It's been sick. We've all been quite worried. It's been half a year. Jeremiah is now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. I love the walking cycle. It looks so I dirty. I apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. 
How many of you are there? I saw the gardener and you. We've lost electricity to most parts of the house. We can only maintain the living quarters. It's all pretty much just a dark mansion. And this place is huge! If you didn't notice, it's a this very- This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. Well, it depends. On what we need to do. Or what he wants us to do. I mean, it's been six months since we since he sent the letter. I'm sure that a lot of stuff has happened, and also jammed. <laughs> Love that when he says that. I I. Oh, hello. Hello, Ghosty Goo. We'll be seeing him a lot in the, during the game, and we'll learn who he is. Don't you worry. Well, there's some fuel for your nightmare. Hello. Yeah, there's nothing you can do in during that. That's the first, pretty much the first jump scare in the game. But I'm used to it. I used to play this game a lot, and I still do. Won't budge. Won't budge. Won't budge. If you hear me quote him in some other games, I think I have. Stuck. <laughs> Especially that stuck. Jammed. And jammed. I've said that in some games, not ever, not uh, everywhere, but in some games I've used then. So if you have wondered where I where I say all jammed and stuck in a very odd odd accent, it's because of this game and because of Patrick. Patrick, Hello. you made it. Yes. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. Yeah, you look old. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. How old are Patrick, you? Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Yep. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the help was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't Curse? help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have Love increased since I've been back from the war. I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. Mm -hmm. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. Sounds like a monster to me. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. New journal. Blah 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 blah. Difficult step. Okay. So. I love that tainting of the family. It's really cool. They really put some detail into it. And they all look very, very menacing. Stuck. Shock. Jammed. Is it Raspberry? There's only one person who dares to give. Well, I'm sorry, making space ball references. <laughs> what are you laughing at, laughing boy? <laughs> I asked, what are you laughing at, laughing boy? Where do you think you're going? And also, that's one of the family members, if you didn't understand. Won't budge. If you didn't notice from the painting. Man, my mouse is really... Really sensitive. I should turn it down a bit. Although, in first-person shooters, you really do want to have your mouse sen sensitivity up. Because you want to do these a lot. But this is a bit too much. Quick turns are good, but that quick... Uh, yeah, not good. Gotta love those sounds Stuck. of monsters. So let's see. Stuck. Nothing there. 
So let's follow Mr. Ghosty Goo. Hello? Didn't know that I opened a door. Hey, it's you. Can you describe what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. Nice poem, I guess. <gasps> yep. Yeah, bullets. I really, <laughs> you really do need bullets. Now, of course, as in every FPS game ever, they just lie around wherever. Hello, anybody here? <gasps> Health pack. These are very useful. You really do need those. If I do remember, actually, I don't remember where I put them, which, how to use the items. Won't budge. It would be useful to change uh, the object. Oh yeah, that's the reel of. That's the reel of uh, weaponry, and there's also a wheel of magic, but I only have scry, so I cannot put that on. There we go. Now we have health equipped. So I can use it if I ever need to. Bullets. <laughs> nye, nye, nye. Anybody else got scared of that? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> and also, we can look at ourselves in the mirror. <laughs> Looks very silly. He's holding it in the mirror like it was some kind of a... Either... I don't know. <laughs> it looks like aspar asparagus. No, not asparagus. Uh, cauliflower. Yeah. Like he's going to. Hey, no! Hey, who are you? Uh, what are you? Ah, get away! Get away! If you. Ah, there's a mother! Die! Yeah, I'm not the best aimer in the game, but then again, aiming in this game is really difficult because you cannot uh, zoom in. Pick it up. Thank you. Ooh, ammo. I heard your clicky clucky boss. Ooh -wee. I hate these things. I really do. It even makes my voice crack. Ew. They really tore her up. And also, you make bloody footprints when you walk on blood. I heard that. I heard something. Well, um, that is an item that if you hear it, it's gonna be something that we're gonna pick up later on. If only I could get a headshot, I could kill this instantly. Yeah, you can get a headshot on them and kill them immediately. Yeah, I know you're up there. I can't get to you yet. God damn it. They're fast. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to press. At least I can see them a lot better. That's what the scry helps you with, too. You can uh, see the enemy a lot easier because they're demons. And it gives them a glowy aura to stop and to spot them easier. Okay. Well, that's a good introduction to this. Holy shit, hello, Cthulhu, is that you? Pretty much, yes, maybe. I don't know. But I'm gonna end it here because uh, this is a pretty good introduction to the game. To the first enemies that we have, and we're gonna see those guys a lot in this. Uh, area and also in the beginning and pretty much throughout the game we'll also find out what they are and everything soon enough in the next video i'm sure so hope you enjoyed this first uh, video installment of uh, undying seriously cthulhu why it doesn't really he doesn't really look like cthulhu but he reminds me of cthulhu because he's just a one-eyed uh, squid octopus monster while cthulhu has only a squid face Anyway, I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.